G'day and welcome back on Faintly Saintly and today we're looking at Lucky Hunter. So this is a demo for a deck building auto battler with a bit of roguelike elements to it as well. Basically you build your deck full of units and they're placed automatically onto a board and uh, they synergize, they combine together, they become more powerful and it's up to you to build the right combination, the right deck to progress through the endless mode. Okay, so we start off with a little view of the world map here. So you can see there's like a split path that we can choose our way through. A bit like Slay the Spire and other renowned deck builders. And the first stop is the Village Chief's Gift. Pick one, young man, for protection. So this can help us basically choose which direction our deck is going to take. We have Soldier Recruit. Obtain one level one soldier per turn and immediately gain soldier times two. So soldiers are basically like cars. They're the units we have. Fan of ninjas, for each ninja on the field, all pieces gain attack plus 10%, and immediately gain two ninjas, that's pretty good. Gold residents, gain four gold when obtaining a piece. Don't really know, I think I'm just going to go the soldier. That's one every turn, and we get two to start with. Sounds good. So in our inventory here, we have four soldiers, a spear, which gives surrounding pieces plus three attack, and a shield, which will add me, add uh, one armor, basically. So let's move on to a minion. Facing some spiders. We've got 55 health. They've got six. They attack four times per turn. Really? Okay. Um, and what have we got? Soldier recruit. Oh, that's our artifact. Yep. Okay. And 50 gold. So when we battle, all the uh, items in our inventory get thrown onto this grid. Okay. And then they start interacting with each other and attacking or blocking. So, oh, let's see here. Um, I'll chuck another. Uh, I don't think a spear is any good. Uh, maybe it is. So you'll see here we have three soldiers next to each other. And they've all merged into a high level soldier. Which gives it increased attack abilities. So, we finish the battle. We can choose another piece to add to our inventory to throw onto the board. We can get a general. The attack equals the number of one field soldiers. That's pretty good. Soldier. So another soldier. Or a shield for more block. I like the idea of a general. All right, so we'll see here, got the general. Yep, basically that's why it dies instantly. Statistics, I think this might be the damage done. You can see the, the breakdown of damage inflicted and this green soldier is the one that was the merger, the one, the result of the three soldiers that combined into one high level soldier. Okay, we also got one shell and 25 gold. I'm not sure what they're for you just yet. Oh, there's an enchantment shop. Maybe we'll find out. I can do everything except fly. So, surrounding pieces crit rate plus 3%. Okay, so that basically augments my shield item. I can re-roll this. Self attack plus 10 when merging the pieces. Okay. So again, if we had uh, three of the same item, like this three level one soldiers here, they'll combine into one. Self attack plus 10 when merging pieces. So we'll see what that does. May as well. Oh no, it's $40. I thought it was free. Never mind. Uh, can't afford it. We'll move on. So we've got some snakes here. Okay, so we merge some soldiers there. Smack that snake a bit. What does he do? Two times per turn. We can handle that. Uh, we're choosing a piece. Okay. I don't know what determines how often we choose pieces. Summon one level one soldier every three turns. Or I can get another general. Hmm. I think more soldiers is good. They'll all merge together and level up pretty quick then. Like that. So they're all doing quite a bit of damage now. Uh, airdrop soldier, summon three soldiers of the same level after three turns. Okay, so it's a bit of a pick this now and get the reward three turns later. Very nice. Probably need to invest in some more shields as well, actually. Spawn one level one bomb every three turns. Can I see what that... Oh. Maybe I can't see what that does. I'm 
interesting. Uh, surrounding pieces. Attack permanently plus three. That could be good. Although it could be wasted as well. Because it's a one-time use one. I want to go summon some soldiers. I just want to buff up these numbers. Because they're leveling up now. They're all combining. And I believe now that there's two level three ones here, if they're next to each other, they can combine as well, if there's three of those. Um, which I think we do have now. Treasure chest. Summon one level one spear, flag, or broken sword every five turns. Shield or soldier. I might go for the shield this time. We've got plenty of soldiers coming through. Oh, there's a bomb. It looks like it just launched straight at the enemy. That's pretty good. Victory. An elite or a bonfire? The bonfire heals me, but I'm not that hurt, so I might be able to do the elite. I'm going to try my luck. It's elite caterpillar. Attack 5 increases by 1 per turn. Alright, it's all happening there. Did about half half his health in one go, which is good. I'm going to get another general, I think. They're quite powerful in these soldier builds. They're doing a huge chunk of their damage over here. Uh, I can summon ninjas, but I think I'm leaning into the soldier build too far now to look for different types of units. Summon three soldiers at the same level after three turns. We'll get another one of those. Oh, there was two caterpillars. One was hiding. Okay. That's not too bad. I'll get another general. If they're all next to each other when we roll, then they can merge into a high level general, which would be good. All happening there, and Caterpillar is dead. Was that the last one? Yes. Now we get a reward. Shield of Fortitude. Take no more damage than 5 in 1 attack. Gain 1 armor when obtaining a piece. When dealing a critical strike, restore 1 HP. Destroy it after 2 battles. Destroy it after 3 battles. I think Shield Resonance, just because it's a permanent sort of uh, buff. When obtaining a piece, I'm assuming... I actually don't know what that means. When I'm adding something to my inventory, maybe? Butterflies. Six attack increases by two per turn. Attack once per turn. Okay. Alright, we've got a couple of mergers happening. That's good. We've got a high level one here, a blue one. That means three of these green ones. Must have combined. Which is nice. Uh... I think I'll just go the shield again this time. Guarantee myself a bit more armor. Okay, that's pretty good. Ninja, ninja. Nah, go the shield. Attack 9. That increases by 3 per turn. That seems to have a lot more health. Um, go shield again. I'm assuming the shields can all merge together at the same the same way the soldiers do. Yes, they can. Which is nice. So I'm not going to run out of room. Beautiful. Victory. Let's see what the blacksmith can do for me. For some reason, at first glance, I thought this was um, the Goomba from Paper Mario. I don't know why. Uh, Alright, so we can level up pieces or artifacts. I can't afford that, but I can afford to level up some of these. Soldier camp. Summon one level two soldier every three turns. Okay, so that improves the soldier that that's generating for me. One level two bomb. Okay, that could be good. Uh, I might as well just do this, I think. 
One level two soldier every three turns would be nice. And that's all we can do. Thank you. We'll move on. A mouse. Holy moly. Look at his big chubby face. All right. We're rolling. Lots happening down here. Plenty of shield, plenty of damage. Let's hope we're scaling fast enough to keep up with the uh, enemies. Um, another soldier camp could be good. Because it's triggering this uh, artifact as well, giving me free shields. Because that's counting as an, a piece being obtained when the uh, camps go off, so that's good. Another camp. I'm going to do it because eventually they'll all merge together and make a stronger camp. And again, as they fire, I'm getting free shields, which is lovely. I don't think my generals are merging, are they really? They haven't had the chance. I might get another one just to improve the odds. Okay. So I'm going to knock him out. The damage is starting to add up there. I'll grab a shield as well. Okay, the grid's full for the first time, I believe. Another general. There we go. pretty good. So his attack equals the number of soldiers on field times three, and there's a lot of those. So I can get one soldier, or I can summon two. Tough choice. Flag sounds good, though. Doubles attack of surrounding pieces. I'm going to do that, actually. Feels like a good scalar option. Because now these, like this general, his attack will go through the roof. Ten. Double it. Bam. Pretty good. Reduce enemies HP by 4% one time. That's what bombs do. Okay, so that's potentially good. Once enemies start getting a lot more health. Yeah, no. No, I'm going to get shield. I'm going to keep working towards some stronger shields, I think. Okay, another merger there, which is lovely. Another one, which is even better. So what are they, three level three? We've got five level threes now. Which is good. There is a shop, but I think I need to go the heal. I'm gonna get 10 HP. Better than nothing. A nine tail fox. Attack 11 increases by two per turn and attack 20% per turn. Holy moly. Okay. Downright rude, that is. So it could be in a bit of strife here. Maybe. Gorilla. Attack once every three turn. Attack equals the number of gorillas by one. Oh, sorry, time, yeah, times one. Uh, I'm going to go the flag. Best. That one was a bit wasted. His attack is 21 now. Another camp I think is good. Another couple of mergers. Look at that. Let's see, level 4 now. 27 attack. That's lovely. I hope I survive long enough to uh, enjoy that. Another shield. Another merger, lovely. Oh, that's a strong general there. I really need to finish the job this turn or I'm in strife. So I may as well get another soldier in.
That's nice. Uh, not quite though. I think I'm. I think I'm done. Interesting. So you do have some influence over your success, but not directly. It still comes down to luck of the draw. I think I'm going to give that one another run and see if we can do something a little bit different. Okay, Village Chief's Gift. Gain one armor when a piece is eliminated. Okay, I'm not sure when that happens. Uh, soldier Recruit would be good. Maybe I've got ninjas this time. I'm just going to get everything ninja related. Don't know whether that's good or bad. For each ninja on the field, all pieces gain 10% attack. I mean, that sounds pretty good in isolation. Sword fighter, attack and armor. That's interesting. Every two times an enemy takes damage, deal an additional one damage. Surrounding pieces around the triggers one additional attack two times. One additional attack two times. Hmm. Oh, we've got the ninja to master. Nice. Restore one HP every three turns. That's interesting. I'm gonna stick with some shields to start with though and just keep it a bit simpler. I just noticed these things are called Mrs. Mouse and it's like a insect. I'm not quite sure what that is or what that's inspired by. I'll fight the elite, but I'm not confident this deck has anything uh, worthwhile just yet. A lobster. Okay, another shield would be good. There we go, they'll merge, lovely. Okay, not too bad. Ninja to scroll. Additionally makes surrounding pieces attack one time every two turns. Additionally makes surrounding pieces attack one time one time. Or soldiers. Go the scroll. A little bit wasted and the uh, board is still so empty. Journal's no good to me. Gonna get another scroll. So he's gonna attack what three times is he? So how that works. Airdrop ninjas. Yes, please. Interesting. Some of two soldiers replicate one right side piece. Get another master out there. And we have defeated the lobsters, and we get a reward. Hot blooded gold, gain four gold when injured. Take no more than more do, sorry, no more damage than five in one attack. Deal five percent more damage to bosses and elites. That actually sounds fantastic. So we'll move on. Crocodiles. I do like the uh, art style for this. These are quite charming little characters. Charge. All right, our airdrop is in. We haven't got any leveled up ninjas as far as I can tell. So. Holy moly, that's um that was good. <laughs> Flag actually sounds alright here. There we go, leveled up a ninja. Additionally attacks two times. Airdrop ninja. Yeah, I'll do that. Beautiful. Uh, sword fighter could be good. Well, I suppose it's the same as a shield, but it does damage, right? Yeah, I'll grab it. Flag hit this ninja here, so that's good. Another ninja, why not? Airdrop comes off as well. Ninjas everywhere. <laughs> I 
<laughs> and uh, that was a bit overkill. Uh, I think we can. I think we're more comfortable to hit an elite this time. Got this dopey looking frog. Okay, ninja upgrade. Beautiful. Lovely. That is what you want. Uh, Serene pieces attack permanently plus three. I'm going to get that just because I didn't want the other two. Hopefully it'll get used and disappear and uh, these guys will benefit from it. Nice. So all these times two times four, they're all extra hits. So we're just uh, spamming them basically. At the beginning of a battle, randomly select one piece to level up by one level. When dealing critical strike, cause an additional damage of 5%. Gain four gold when merging pieces. I think this one. Beginning of a battle, it just upgrades a random thing for three battles. I don't mind that. Free upgrades always good. Oh, right, there we go. It upgraded my uh, sword fighter. So it has two armor now. What the hell was that? Beak. Uh, I'm going to get another master and try and merge a couple. What is this? Oh, it's like a big kissy mouth. Okay. That's creepy. But I like that we're um, killing things in one turn at the moment. Sword master. And he receives 20% more damage every three, every three turns. It's interesting. But I think we'll spam ninjas instead. Still plenty of room on our board. Didn't quite get him in one turn, unfortunately. Uh, another, no, I'll go the shield this time. Just improves our survivability a little bit. Hmm. Elite sounds good, but so does the blacksmith. I think I'll do that. Can we level up here? So I level two ninja every three turns. Surrounding pieces attack 200%. Wait, why do we have soldiers? Did I mess up? Wait, didn't our sword fighter get upgraded already? Or was that a temporary thing? Well, I'm going to upgrade him. And maybe the ninja camp as well. So the ninjas it spits out are a high level. Cockroach. Beautiful. Lovely. General treasure chest. Actually, I don't mind that. That spawns buffs for me, so I'll give it a try. This guy's got 28 armor as well. That definitely slowed me down. Uh, no, I don't want soldiers. I'll go shield. I think we're into the point I can just turn that speed up a little bit now. Oh, we'll get another master. Okay, we're keeping up. We understand what's going on. <laughs> Did we to begin with? Um, another sword fighter or another ninja camp? I like sword fighters. There's, you know, damage, armor. Goes together nicely. Smashed him. We need to heal. 
Yes, please. What have we got? Mr. Catfish. Let's get him. Oh, he's got heaps of health. Adds two mucus to Hunter's inventory per turn. Is that what I just saw? Lovely. This attack goes up by three every turn. Uh, ninja camp, please. Hmm. Another ninja camp, please. Gonna be another close one, I think, but I just think we're gonna fall short. Oh, very close in the end. It's a shame. No, ma not a match for it. Back to the village. Well, it's interesting. So there is some uh, progression here as well. I think, ah, oh, okay, these are what the shells are for. You can upgrade to max health. Um, your health restoration. Improves bonfires. Starting gold. Unlock grids. Ah, oh, you can expand your grid area. Okay. Additionally deal 0% more damage to elites, increasing by 2% per level. Okay. Random attempt increased by random attempt plus zero in each battle increased by one per level. Well, I don't know what that means. Random attempt. Okay. When selecting a piece, there is a 0% chance that one of the pieces that appear will be one level higher with an increase of 1% per chance per level. So the translations, translations need a little bit of work, but uh, I think I understand what they're trying to say. Eight shells to unlock this pack. Oh, okay, so there's different uh, inventory packs, I see. What has that got? A druid summons war wolves and war bears. Increase, uh, reduce enemies attack by one, that's interesting. A beast tamer. Chicken coop. Interesting. I can't afford this one as well, but I might invest in... Uh, I don't mind health restoration, actually. After battle, it'll just heal me a little bit. That's fine. I like the idea of having some extra grid space. And I'll increase my max HP and improve bonfires. Let's give this one more go. So do I choose, I oh know it's just those new items will be available to me like this. Fan of bears, for each war bear on the field, all pieces gain attack plus 20% and give me two war bears, yes please. Ah, okay, so I've unlocked this extra little grid space here, nice. Interesting. Druid, summon a level one war wolf or war bear every four turns. Yes, please. We'll kill the fire rock. Summon two wolves or bears of the same level one time. There we go. Four bears now. That's pretty good. Because they reduce the enemy's attack, which is very handy. I think it was the bears that did that, not the wolves. Um, I'll have to come back and see. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be able to do anything here. Maybe... Surrounding pieces attack plus 10%. May as well. Makes me a bit more useful. Fire cat. Alright. Watch these cute little kittens getting mauled by a pack of bears. Beast tamer. Attack equals the number of surrounding war wolves and war bears. Warwolf transfer. Convert one warbear into a warwolf one time. Do I want that? I don't know. Very good. Another druid or a chicken coop. Accelerate one surrounding piece for one turn. I don't know what accelerate means, but I think I want the druid anyway. Nice. 
Another one, yes, please. Another one, yes, please. There we go, they'll merge. Now they'll spit out level two wolves or bears. Very nice. Okay, there's my regeneration. Beautiful. Uh, I will take on the elite. Fire snakes. Attack five increases by one every turn. Give me a shield. Merge them. Beautiful. Another druid. Keep them coming. Summon two wolves or bears, yes please. There we go, got a merge out of it, got some level two bears now. I'll get the chicken coop, I don't know what it does, but we'll hopefully find out. I don't know what accelerate means. Okay, all pieces gain crit rate plus 15%. Gain the invincibility if HP is lower than 25% when injured. At the beginning of a battle, randomly select one piece upgrade. Yeah. Fire falls. Six attack, increase two per turn. What do the wolves do again? The enemy receives 3% more damage. Okay. Uh, got the shield. Uh, we'll go the wild summon. Plenty happening now. Uh, might as well get a shapeshift. I could get something good out of it. Except there's nothing to the right of it, so it didn't work. That's alright. Um, elite. Fire lizard. Let's go. Alright, oh, I'm going to turn to a soldier, which is like the one thing I wouldn't want it to do, but anyway. That's fine. Uh, yeah, I'll have to do this, I think. That's pretty good. So the wolves make them take more damage, the bears make them do less damage. Good combination. I don't want any of these. No. Beast Tamer, yes please. Very cool. Deal 5% more damage to bosses and elites. All pieces gain 20% attack in one turn when obtaining a piece. When dealing a critical strike, restore 1 HP. I think I need an elite killer. Wait, that looks for bosses? Yes. Fire clouds. Okay, I've got a couple of level 3 wolves now. Level 3 bear up here. That's nice. Damage is a concern. Suppose a treasure chest could help with that. Okay. Ah, uh, druid. Wild summoning. Very nice. Beast Tamer. Okay, just noticed I have a leveled up soldier there. Uh, shop up bonfire. I'm actually pretty good with health, so let's go to the shop. Is this beetle? 
what I don't know if it's just me seeing Nintendo characters and these NPCs, but the last one reminded me of the, uh, Goombella, I think it is, and this is certainly Beetle from Breath of the Wild, right? Maybe I'm crazy. We can buy a level three war bear, or is it two? Pieces that require more than one turn to trigger reduce the number of turns required by one. That's what the chicken coop does. Uh, I'm going the war bear. I'm going to re-roll. Merge into a spearman. That's interesting. Healing talisman would be nice. Surrounding pieces gain permanent nine damage. That's pretty good actually, but a shield's also probably good. Go on the sh shield. Let's go Hellhound. 13 attack increases by three per turn, attacks once. Eliminate one of the lowest level pieces randomly every three turns. Oh dear. Okay. So he's gonna be shredding my inventory basically. We want wild summoning. Another beast tamer. Damage received plus 53% that turn just from these wolves. That's pretty good. Oh, shapeshifter. Oh, again, it just keeps doing the soldiers. I don't want the soldiers. That's alright, we actually smashed that boss. That's really good. So we've got honey, max HP, gold, a bit of everything. HP recovery plus 30%. Enemy damage taken 10%. Yeah, I'll do that. Oh, okay. So I wonder how far this demo goes. We get another gift. When the same level soldier and shield of level less than or equal to four are on the field, they will merge into a guard. All pieces gain attack 20% for each piece in inventory. What? That seems ridiculous. But what does a guard do? I'm gonna get that. Each piece in inventory. Each piece of what? A hair. 12 increases by 4. Got him. Uh, chicken coop. Yep, so he's speeding up the treasure chest, which takes 5 turns, so that's pretty handy. I uh, don't want that. I don't want. Nah, I don't want any of that. Beautiful. Got another shapeshifter, see if it'll get the uh, soldier again. Demon Merchant. Interesting. I'm going to go the Elite. It's an Elite Angry Fox. He's a grumpy little fella, that one. Some good level ups there. Grabbing the level 2 shield for sure. That could be good. Yeah, may as well. The chicken cubes might help it. Another shield. Here we go. Warwolf is a little climbing the ranks there. Another shapeshifter. 
another shield from that. That's okay. Uh, I have one beast tamer. I have one druid. Got the druid. Now uh, another shield. There we go, they merged. Beautiful. Another shield. I think we've got a good balance of survivability and damage at the moment. Which I didn't quite have with those previous runs. And reduces the enemy's attack by 25% for three battles. All pieces gain attack rate plus 50%. Uh, yeah. Some of the wording is quite strange. I'm not quite sure what each piece in inventory means or what attack rate is, if that's different to a normal attack. Not quite sure. Another druid. Beautiful. Uh, I will do that one actually, yeah. And smash these wild chickens. There's so much going on right now. Another beast tamer, which sounds good. This beast tamer is doing a lot of damage actually for me. Ah, oh, there we go, there. Leveled up wolf has overtaken him. Skipping that one. Oh, the wolf's doing 129 damage. That would be why. Uh, another green treasure chest. Don't want to bother with that. Maybe just a shapeshifter. Okay, things are definitely scaling up. Uh, I've got one shield, I've got two chicken coops, let's try for that. Demon Merchant. When any pieces get removed from the field, summon two pieces to the free slots in the field. All attacker pieces crit rate plus 15% in one turn when merging any pieces. I don't actually want any of that, to be honest. Not certainly giving up any health for it. Gorilla. There you go, Chicken Coop has leveled up. What does that do now? Accelerates two surrounding pieces for one turn. That's pretty nice. Uh, no, thank you. Okay, just did 1.6k damage in one turn there, so we're definitely uh, getting a bit of power creep happening. Uh, no, I'm skipping that one. That wolf is doing 318. Uh, oh, I've already got two flags, so we can. Oh, there we go, merge them. Surrounding pieces do 200% attack. Lovely. Evolution shield. Armor plus one and temporarily upgrade one surrounding piece by one level. Yes, please. That's crazy. I still don't know why you'd want to be converting wolves and bears. Like, won't make a huge difference, will it? They both seem to benefit from the same thing, so it's not like they're, you know, interrupting each other's synergies. Uh, definitely on that you leaked. <laughs> Look at this wildcat. Scary. Whoa, level 4 bear coming in. 
I think, I think they're level fours, aren't they? Yeah, one, two, blue is three, purple's four. Another wild summon. Cursed shield, negative one HP, but plus six armor. Scary, but no. Wild Summon. Uh, no. Whoa. It's ridiculous. Shapeshifter. To a chicken coop, that's not the end of the world. Crazy. When a piece is eliminated, all pieces gain attack 40% in one turn. Three battles, three battles. This one's permanent, so I think I'm immediately more drawn to that. Boar. That doesn't look like a boar, that looks like a little square piggy. Thank you. Nice. I'm going to get a shield. Wild summoning. Why aren't the enemies attacking me? Or are the wolves completely killing their attack power? Oh, it attacks once every three turns. I get it. So you really want to kill it before it does 60 odd damage to you. Gotcha. Shop a bonfire. Shop, I think. Got plenty of money. Fan of gold, soldier. Roll on that. Uh, another gr green beast tamer would be good. Gain one armor when injured. When the same level soldier and chicken coop of level less than or equal to four on the field, they merge into a coop soldier. This could happen. I, I could get a coop shoulder, soldier right here. Uh, one more roll. Same level werewolf and spear. They merge into a hound. Yeah. Alright, we could get a couple of interesting mergers for this fight. The nine-tailed fox again. Alright, we've got our hounds. What do they do? Are they any different? Not sure. I wasn't even watching the battle. How's it going up here? This thing does 52 attack. Attack plus 20% per turn. 
So we can only hope the bears are killing the attack faster than it can grow. Or before it gets too dangerous. Do I have a coop soldier yet? Oh, okay, it's doing one heavy damage to me. Look at this. Shame it doesn't affect anything at the moment because it's on its own in the corner. Uh, gonna skip that. Oh, there's a cube soldier. What does he do? No, oh, he attacks and he accelerates. Okay, pretty much what you'd expect. Oof, was not quite so close that time. Interesting, but that uh, the level of scaling once you get to that second uh, second area is uh, ridiculous. So that's pretty interesting. So I get many shells, I've got 20 again. I'd kind of unlock some more types of units, which is interesting. What have we got here? A gold hunter. Gold hunter camp, combat, a combat chest. So it's all about gaining gold. When a piece is eliminated, surrounding pieces attack 200%. Interesting. Once activated, this build will appear in the adventure. Ah, oh, so I can turn off basically the other builds, right? So if I only want to focus on, say, soldiers, turn it on, shouldn't get these ones. In theory, maybe. Interesting. Uh, cool. All right, well, I'm going to leave it there. So once again, this is Lucky Hunter. It's an interesting little game. It's an auto battler. At first glance, you don't feel like you have too much control over it, but eventually you sort of learn your strategies of uh, choosing the right artifacts and building the right uh, deck composition, as is the case with most deck building games. And uh, it's a good combination of the deck builder and the auto battler. It's quite satisfying, charming graphics, and uh, yeah, sort of a bit more-ish. Makes me want to keep playing, but uh, I'm going to wrap it up there. So if you want to check it out, there'll be a link to this one in the description. So you can go check out the demo for yourself and uh, put it on your wish list. There is no full release date as yet as far as i can tell and if you like this and want to see more please consider subscribing it helps me out a lot it keeps you in loop when new videos drop and i do cover lots of indie and vr games so if you have any game suggestions for me to check out let me know in the comments down below as well thanks again for watching and i will see you next time